In this video, I'm gonna show you the way I did the beer. So if you would like to see the process, stick around, I'm about to explain it. So for this part of this tattoo, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys to my thought process of how I'm gonna execute the beer area. What I'm using right now, it is a seven round liner with using nothing but solder black. Um, this technique is uh, something that I haven't showed in my videos uh, yet just because uh, I haven't had the perfect piece to explain it with. And since I'm doing a statue today, uh, it's gonna be perfect to really show this technique with using nothing but solid black and using texture to create different tones. Here we go, I'm using a 7 mile liner with a voltage of a 5.0. And I'm gonna start on this corner here, just pretty much doing little textures here and there. And because it is such a sharp cartridge, the ink goes in without putting a whole bunch of pressure. So that creates less uh, irritation to the skin. So now, I'm gonna go on this edge here and just start doing little textures to not make it look so sharp because I think it's a little too sharp here. I'm just gonna go in. And as you can see, you can already see the the texture of it come to life i'm using the scribble technique like i mentioned in the past i know i get I, it's really cool to see a lot of people send me dms saying a lot of artists saying that they have used a scribble technique and it's hel it has helped them out tremendously uh but i've gotten also a lot of dms saying that uh they used it and it's a little complicated to really use this technique and I do want to say that it, yeah, it is not easy. It takes a lot of uh, practice. So if you have tried it and it hasn't worked out for you, keep giving that a try. Keep giving that a try because it um, it's going to help you out in the long run. And it's not going to come out the way you visualize it the first time. So make sure to try on little corners. Make sure that it's not a, an area that might jeopardize the piece. I will fire for fighting the lead out. And yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy when I first started using it, but uh, yeah, I uh, I kept going at it until I perfected it. I, st I still feel like I'm perfecting it, but uh, I have a lot of flexibility now on my wrist area to not be so stiff. So as I get here on the back, there's a little bit more contrast on this area. So I'm going to apply more pressure on it. Oh. And now you can see the big difference between this and this. The way this technique heals, it is insane. As the time passes, the piece keeps getting darker and brighter at the same time. So the benefits of using this technique, it is insane. The only reason that I don't use it very often it is because not it's not meant for every tattoo. It's not meant to be used for every single tattoo. You have to pick and choose which concepts are gonna really showcase uh, this technique and what's gonna benefit the piece. So it's not meant for every single tattoo. Like if you're doing a portrait that's very soft, definitely this technique is not gonna help. If you are doing um, like fur on a lion or a tiger, leopard, then yes, I would I would definitely use it, but without the scribble technique. I would kinda do take my time to do the, the fur. Before continuing adding more contrast to this part of the beer, I'm gonna go up here and make sure that I'm not going too dark. So I am going to create my, my, uh, so called, my limit. What I'm doing with this line is, uh, creating contrast. I want to make sure that this highlight stands out. Another concept that I will use this technique with, it is like 
statues like Aztec statues, maybe uh, Egyptian statues, Buddhas. That would this technique will really help you out. And I'm gonna start doing this part as well. I wanna keep adding my contrast before I keep adding more texture to the highlight areas. How you feeling? Okay, I wanted to accept the dog. Okay. <laughs> And what I'm doing here, I'm just adding texture everywhere just to fill in in between the lines. Then after I see the map, I'm gonna add a little bit more finesse and give it more dimension to it. So all I'm doing is just the base of it. And then I'm gonna see how I can give it more dimension. So let's see, now that I have that, I'm starting to see some shapes. And this is something that you can't plan for. It's something that as you're tattooing, you are taking decisions to make it look better than the reference. Uh, maybe there's some things on the reference that you don't like. So while you're tattooing, you can make those changes happen and uh, make it unique and make it your own style. So in this case, I do see the line right there. So I'm going to take advantage of that and enhance it a little bit more to make it look like there's more to the beard than just all the black there. Boom, nice. Again, solid black. Yes. I see another one right here. And here. Nice. Now that I have those two areas, now I can decide how dark and how much contrast I can really add. So I'm gonna come down here again and just boom, start adding more texture to it. You see that? Oh, yeah. This is what goes through my mind when I tattoo. I just don't say it out loud. <laughs> so here I'm gonna add a little bit more texture. Boom. Make it look like it's really uh, like stone. So now you can see I'm adding more personality to it. And it's like I said, it's not something you plan for because as you're adding texture, the texture is doing the job for you to help you enhance it more. And it's gonna give you a map to make it look better. So now I see this, this little chips right here, nice. Maybe a little bit more, that way it's not too bright. Gonna come back here. I like this here, a little bit more. Too empty, so I'm gonna fill it in just enough. So now before I keep going on that part of the beer, I'm just gonna go to this second one and start doing the same thing. Texture, slowly add it. very soft. I don't want it to be too harsh because it's, it's a skinnier, it's a skinnier um, space that I have. So I want to make sure that the highlight is, is more visible. Right. I'm going to enhance this one a little bit more. I like the way that looks. I just want to make it more noticeable. Perfect. Yep. 
and I feel like this back part is a little too bright so I'm gonna make it a little bit darker nice this this shading that I'm adding here is making this look even brighter so it's gonna benefit me so now that I have that I do feel like I need a little bit more down here just enough it's a little too bright add a little bit more sharpness on this corner There you go, nice. And I'm gonna step back just to kind of see everything, make sure that it looks nice. I wanna make sure that everything matches and that it stands out. So, let's see. It's a little bit more contrast on this corner, just a little bit. A little, bit, a little bit sharper here. There we go. Some more texture. And there you go. That's exactly how I'm gonna keep doing the rest of the beard and just the same, um, the same steps, the same sequence, I'm gonna do it here, here and here.